Hello, this is Tony Earhart, the ESU 8's MTSS and PEAT coordinator. Deanna Clifton and Mallory Kelly, both ESU 8 early childhood special education teachers, and myself have designed this presentation about decluttering to help improve your overall wellness. This is part of the ESU 8's Wednesday Wellness Webinars. We hope you enjoy this as much as we did when we decluttered our houses. Clutter isn't just the stuff in your closet. It's anything that gets between you and the life that you want to be living by Peter Walsh. Here are some benefits of decluttering we'd like to share with you. It helps you stay physically active. You have feelings of satisfaction. Boosts your productivity. Helps us feel more organized. Helps affect our emotions positively. Helps lessen anxiety. Helps us feel task oriented. Can reduce stress improve your sleep. You may discover a lost treasure. And it's easier to clean and tidy your house in the long run. And it could save money if you find lost treasures or figure out where some of the items that you have are on hand. The benefits of decluttering for myself are it boosts my productivity, helps me feel more organized, and I do believe it reduces my stress. Here is the Declutter 30 Day Challenge Calendar. On here, you'll find a link that takes you to the PDF version of this calendar. If you look at this, for example, on 1 and 17, it says clean out and organize two kitchen cabinets. If you have more, you can go ahead and cross that off and figure out how many cabinets to accomplish your whole kitchen, or maybe you just want to stay with the two and the two. But overall, um, I think most of these items on here can relate to any household. If not, go ahead and edit it and make it fit your needs at your house. We want you to have a good uh, feeling of this and be able to declutter your house in order to help you get some of those um, accomplishments. Here are some tips to stay on track. Print the calendar off. Cross off each task completed. I know I like to do that. Try to make time for one of the items listed on the calendar daily. Have your family help you accomplish a task. Be creative with storage containers. There's many options out there. Make a home for your items. Don't let those items pile up. Prioritize the items that you would like to keep. Get rid of those unwanted items. And keep a to-do list of tasks needed to complete. Here are some examples of some to-do lists. There's paper versions and electronic versions. On the paper versions, you just click on the link and then you can print them from there. And then on the electronic versions, um, these are the directions on how you would get those electronically. Again, do what best fits your needs because we want this to support what's best for you. One person may like paper, one person may like electronic. Do what you feel like will best help you accomplish and declutter your house. Best of luck. You can, you should, and if you're brave enough to start, you will. Stephen King. If you need more help, or support to clutter in your house, contact Tony Earhart, Deanna Clifton, or Mallory Kelly. We've also made you some videos of how we decluttered our house, so stay tuned for those videos. Thank you. Here is our spice cabinet before I do the decluttering of the spice cabinet. So first I'm gonna take everything out and then I'll organize it and we'll see what it looks like after. And here is the finished product. So season salts are at the top, taller ones are in the middle, and down below are the season or the seasonings that we usually use um, in alphabetic order. Best of luck with your organizing. Hi everybody, today I am going to organize my kids' snack pantry. It hasn't been done in a while since school started, so we are gonna get started.
So now I have organized our pantry. I have all our spices on the top. And then I have the kids' snacks, then crackers, then our cereal, and then our potatoes. So their snack pantry is now organized. Today we are going to declutter and organize the freezer. Here's what it looks like to begin with. Let's go. We have all the meats over here on this side and the fruits and vegetables and pizza over here. And there you go, the finished product. 